Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So today we are doing a train station build, which is something that you don't normally do in The Sims is build a train station because it really doesn't have that much purpose but I wanted to have a train station in a machinima that I have not started yet which I should do so I can introduce the new let's play that I want to do so I thought while I was building a massive train station that I thought I would record it for you guys to see how I managed to build one so the train station itself is supposed to be quite a a rural sort of train station sort of a small small town one i used the 64 by 64 lot in windenburg to make this so it kind of sort of fits in with that that sort of theming of that of that world it kind of doesn't make that much sense to have a train station in the sims because obviously you can't use the trains but I know in Rindentum Bay you see a train go past in the background if you're on certain lots so I think it could it could be a quite a cool way for them to implicate the track yeah Im implement the the way of traveling in the game instead of just having a massive a massive low screen they could they could do a little sim sitting on a train instead of just a split a spinny little plum bob going around on the screen it'd be a bit more interesting so i used a lot of the get to gather stuff and a lot of the city living stuff because that pack those two packs come with all the different signage and sort of display stuff that you can use which is really good to use for a train station because obviously it is bombardment of the senses with signage and I decided to have those bright yellow doors for some for some reason on the actual train station itself so the train station has it's got four platforms well four four bits that you could catch the train on so I scaled up some of the toy trains that we have in the game to create the the illusion that there were actual actual trains going through so the one we've got in that I put in first was kind of one for for scale rather than because I think I scale it up in the end and then now we're going to work on the inside so I kind of lay out an area where the ticket office would be kind of we have just have two two little windows I don't know how you would buy tickets through a solid glass window but there you go that's what they normally have in train stations <laughs> this isn't real <laughs> but yeah trying to I tried to make it look as look as real as possible and I start of st start doing the bathrooms here but then I'd actually forgot them and had to add them on the end of this video so this is the last thing you get to see in this video is me me finishing off the bathrooms and I went for a quite uh, odd color scheme I kind of tried to pick out that that bright yellow and use it for the rest of the sort of colors within the build itself so there's like the orange doors and the yellow wallpapers about try and make it a bit more a bit more vibrant and colorful than train stations normally are they're pretty pretty grim places especially when there are delays and cancellations and they are my two two favorite words when especially when traveling traveling by train and then we make a little queue area so this is where your your line up to get your tickets from the ticket person and most of the time I try and avoid getting the tickets from the ticket person because there's one woman at my local train station who likes to spend way too long talking to everyone instead of actually giving them a ticket so it's kind of like I need to catch a train in like five minutes I need to get a ticket now and there's five people in front of me and they've not clicked because the machines are awful they don't click over to the off peak until it's actually off peak and that's two minutes before the train gets in normally so it's just like yes I need to queue up and I used a lot of the advertising signage as well from 
the city living pack to kind of give it that vibe because there's always a massive amount of advertising especially at the train station that I use they always have advertising everywhere and there's one that especially that you always see especially when I'm going up to London is the one just out close outside Clapham Junction they have like a huge signage that's like I think it's five times as long as a normal one and they normally have some some ridiculous version of an advert on there normally lights up at night time as well so they go like completely overboard and it's pretty pretty out there and I made a little clock to go on the top of the railway station as well because normally you always have some sort of clock to tell you that you're running completely late and you're going to miss your train or you're way too early and you should go buy buy a coffee and sit there freezing cold especially in winter and I forgot to say at the beginning a happy have a happy new year it is the 2nd of January today when I am doing this because I have been been good and actually bothered to do quite a few quite a few videos today so I am all, all up to date. So I've added in some beautiful orange benches that look hard as nails. So because when you're waiting there for a train, you must sit on the most uncomfortable seat that they could possibly ever design. And I've kind of left some books and some bags about, which is probably not a good idea to leave your bag about when they constantly tell you at the train stations now, like, please do not leave your bag un unattended or it may be destroyed. Just be like, yep, in the Sims, leave your bags everywhere. <laughs> so this is the little desk area for the inside of the ticket the ticket booth so they've got like uh the sciencey desk which kind of make them show show like all the trains coming in and whether there's delays and i put a little microphone in the corner to like when for when they give announcements and they've got like schedules up there and sort of if everything failed they've got a load of books to kind of look up what time the trains would be in and sort of using those the spy maps I think they are as the sort of train routes and a lot of the are uh, the banking sort of stock market signs as ones for what trains are coming in next and then I used the little little sign that has the arrows to, to that I thought most represented what the train company would be we had uh what was i gonna say oh yeah we, we had fun the other the other few months someone on the train work that i i use got i think they, they didn't get fired i think they got really told off for calling one of the trains like destination as trainee mc train face instead of where it was going so that was that was quite fun and someone got in someone mistook because it used to be called a very similar name to what it is to what it is now and he accidentally said the wrong the wrong version of what the train company is called now so he had to like correct himself on the tannoid that was quite funny and then i made a little pass pass over bit so you can your sims can get to the different platforms it was kind of inspired by the train station that i that i use all the time so you can kind of go up walk over and get to the different platforms but normally that's that part at my train station is in the middle more in the middle anyway because the platforms are much longer than you can create in the in the sims even though i'm using like the bigger slot and then in the middle platform i made a little coffee shop because obviously you are going to get cold and you're going to need a drink and something to eat especially if you're traveling like really early in the morning if you're a commuter or if you're going a long distance and you're not going to be able to get any food for a long time so I made a little cafe area using the the cafe thing that you got from get together the one where you can hire a barista to go and work out so you can have a fully functioning cafe train station in your game if you really really desire that and just adding in some of the flower posts because I completely forgot about that and make it a bit a bit more nice looking a bit more appealing and I think yeah add some signs about we haven't got to the part where I like put 
a load, a load of the the wayfinding signs and stuff. Just trying to make the cafe area look a bit a bit more friendly and yeah, and this is where I find all the signs and sort of put them everywhere and put some more orange benches. I imagine they would probably have to have heating as well in in those places because it gets gets cold and sort of lining lining the platforms with all all the hard benches for your sims to sit on and wait for their delayed train because normally normally they're all delayed especially one certain line is it's normally every time I go it's normally delayed by some some sort of increment of time and then I copy over the roof from the other there I kind of made the roofs as flat as possible to sort of because train station roofs are really flat I don't know how they ever managed to keep keep the rain off anything really and then now I'm scaling up the train and moving it into where it should be and we work on some train tracks as well I only do one side of the train track because it's the most tedious job ever trying to put in I think I use pool lights like the pool strips from spa day or something like that and I use those to kind of represent the tracks yeah yeah from spa day so I scale them up and do them all the way along and then put the little little, little railings and then I use some cobble cobbled tiles for the sort of gritty stone bits that the the actual tracks sit on themselves and then just some just some dirt at the end so kind of finished it off a bit but there wasn't really too much I could do to try and blend this build into the landscape because there's it kind of ends abruptly you kind of need the train to go to go off a bit so here is the wonderful placement of all all the all the little lines so I skipped that all out <laughs> and you can see they are all magically done and I had a wonderful time doing it so we're going to work on the outside so the outside has a tiny little car park area and kind of try and make the rare like track parts as enclosed as possible because you don't want anyone walking onto the train tracks or anyone sort of animals straying onto them or people trying to drive onto them so we've got a little little car park and then using some of the banner flag and flower posts to kind of liven up the outside and adding in a lot of add in a lot more signage as well and some some flower boxes from get together just to make it make it, it's probably the i wish they actually made train stations look this this nice in real life i suppose there are some somewhere that look this nice but i don't think i've seen any go to this this length to try and make their commuters feel like it's gonna be a nice a nice journey and the next speed reel video which will be out on thursday will be a cats and dogs one because i have finally got that even though uh, this one was recorded beforehand i'm getting confused because i've had to do stuff in a really weird order today so next one is cats and dogs and that's the start of home and that is for any of you guys who just got it for christmas or in the sale and want to have a house that kind of you can move straight into and it's not too much money and then I added some of these city living sort of food stalls about so we've got a cupcake one and we've got a tea one because obviously they are two of the most important things you can have on a train journey <laughs> always have a cup of tea when I am on the train whether it's in a takeaway cup or I have inverted commas had too much time to waste beforehand and made my mum buy me a cup of tea before I go walk to the train station <laughs> and then I realised that I didn't have any like screens to tell people when the next train was coming in whether it was delayed or anything so I went around and put tv screens on all the posts and some of the walls to kind of that's where they would display like the 934 is coming in it's like expect it at this time and so on and then added some more of the the business stock exchange things underneath to kind of 
as a more running commentary about whether they've got engineering works planned at the weekend, which is always fun, and whether you have to get a, a bus bus replacement or not, <laughs> which is even better, and adding some more some more advertising everywhere. And it looks it looks I I quite like this. It's gonna be quite fun. And here are the bathrooms finally. The last little bit left because obviously if you're going on a long journey you are going to need a, a toilet so these are the screenshots so you can see all the different areas of the train station from various and interesting <laughs> angles like that picture and there's the little hallway where i put in a busking thing as well because obviously that can be a bit more lively and that is it i think and uh, we just doing some more some more beautiful screenshots so if you enjoyed the video give it a like and if you'd like to see any more videos then feel free to subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye